Mic check, check, check. Okay, guys. This is not really a tutorial, and you will not see me on the screen. I haven't uploaded uh, quite a bit now. But that's because I'm fully editing the videos of my girlfriend and her gameplay. So, this is just a quick, a really quick, quick uh, showcase. Let's, let's call it a showcase because um, it's a levitation. Uh, I got a questions that if I had more of my work in the levitation scene, and yes, I have. Um, this one right here, I'm going to show you real quick how it looks like if it's finished. This is the edited image. It's not that clean, but hey, it can't always be perfect. So I will show you the build up. The build up is really simple. So this, this by the way, this is going to be a quick, quick video. So the, the build up is really easy. You see uh, a model, the model sitting on the chair. Um, you can see in my other videos how to edit the levitation photos. And I will show you layer by layer what I've done. Layer one, let me call it. This is the shadow layer obvious shadow so yeah it's very very simple I just used the a brush brushed it a little bit Gaussian blur and then stretch it out with control or command T so you can edit the shadow escape so returns this is just a, a simple skin retouch that I did on her a real quick one instead of the frequency separation I just used the uh, an action yeah, just for a reason, because it's much quicker than frequency separation. It, it, it's called like cheating, okay? <laughs> I do a lot of frequency separation. I got my own tools here. My retouch tools, I got my own frequency separation. I got touching and burning. Touching and burning with different methods. I got a desaturation. Yeah, I got everything. These are made by myself. These are not by any other third party or so ever. Same for the coloring set. Let me know in the comments if you want the, one of these uh, action sets. You can you, you can get them for free, it's no problem. But let me know in the comments. So yes, um, well, not, um, let me zoom in. This is just a quick skin retouch. You see the difference? Okay. After that, I used a touching and burning layer. What this does. Well, for the people that doesn't know what touching and burning is, it, it highlights the lighter parts of the image, and you can darken the shadows or the darker parts of the image. Just the simple explanation. I can show you real quick. I will put it on 50% to show it. And if I use the Dutch, yes, yeah, the Dutch tool, you will see that the image will become lighter. Or, oh my god, I have to select the Dutch Open layer, that will be that easy. You see? Well, this is obvious too much, but it is to show you guys what it does. And if I press Alt, I can darken everything in the picture. So, oh, I hate it when they have the same, same shortcuts. Backwards, step backwards, 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 again, yes, this is it, okay, after that I use the texture layer, because I am really a fan of textures, you can just find them on the internet, so it's not special, to show you how this looks like in normal modus, this is just the texture, I put it in soft light of overlay, depends on how strong that you want the texture, but on this one, I choose overlay. Then, of course, my website. That's uh, one thing that's always in my pictures. A color correction. I can explain this, but it's very personal. Not in the in the kind of way that it's. I'm not going to share it with you, but it's per picture different. And I just play with all the settings I can find. And in the end, I will always come with this image 
that I feel that I yeah I don't it's it's hard to explain guys it's hard to explain it's just go with the flow play with these play with the levels play with the curves exposure vibrance use saturation color balance everything just play with it and you will come to an end <laughs> not that end and you will come uh, to your final image that you like because it's very personal again up to the next one exposure layer what this does is the only thing you have to do is, is, is play with offset and what you get is that the shadows and the darker parts get a look like a matte finish yeah I don't know how to call it in English a flat matte like a little haze over the image look so very simple again exposure just play with the offset don't do too much I always put point zero one twenty four see if you go too much it will look like this so keep it at zero point no oh, zero point one twenty four so next a sunlight yeah I, I, I played with some more warm colors and at the end the sun glow these are very very simple also just make a new layer go on top pick a brush size make it big pick your favorite color on oh, this it is something like this zoom out and don't the center of the circle is the hardest point because it's on hardness zero percent so if I brush here the center will be the hardest point if I set my flow yeah okay this is really too hard but just to show you guys what it does again let me put control Z if I put my circle like this I only get the the outer part of the circle again it's it's, it's look like a little bit hazy stuff so yeah that's what that's what I do in my most most of my images and yeah all the things that you need, guys need to do is just play with it, go with the flow. And yeah, it is a short video again. I'm planning some really, really cool photo shoots. Uh, very spectacular. With just like you uh, are used for me. And But for now, we have to do with this video. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see, you want to see me doing, or name anything, just put it in the comments below. And I will read them. I will definitely reply all the, the comments that you post. Make sure you like this video. And I see you at the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.